Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, vacuum regulator, which is another common issue on the Lexus IS 200 Team 2 ball model. So this is pretty much the part right here. Uh, the symptoms that you're going to have is uh, a turbo lag, lack in power, decrease in MPG. And uh, what happens is start making a, a noise sort of like a power steering issues and really uh, loud noise on, on the pretty much on the passenger side um, if you don't fix it <clears throat> like I, what happened to me because I was in the middle of my road trip out west it gonna eventually break and the engine gonna eventually stall and you're gonna throw uh, a boost sensor on a check engine light which is pretty much uh, you are unable to start it and you have to get it towed back to your house so if you start having issues with it I just replaced it right away and if you're lucky you will get replaced under warranty by the dealership but this is the the cheap version from China that I get from eBay you can get it for 40 bucks but if you can get the OEM one it's gonna be about hundred twenty dollars that's the cheapest one I can find ships <clears throat> take about two or three days but I ordered both just in case it breaks again and the location is kind of hard to reach so you have to pretty much take everything out the air filter take these two these bolts out to get the intercooler uh, coolant reservoir take this out take the connector from the uh, alternator Whereas the location is right around here somewhere. <clears throat> really hard to get. The second bolt is the one that's right here. I'm gonna point it. I don't know if you can, can see it. The one right here, that's the one that's really hard to get. You have to use pretty much a swivel type wrench to get it. But I'm gonna relocate it. That way if it breaks again, or you just pop it out, pop the vacuum line vacuum line right here and replaced it stand by all right so to plug back in there's two uh, hoses the longer one goes right here and the shorter ones all over there there's a connection there plug it back in the issue is according to the TSB is because of the diameter of the hose this hose right here it's too small that's why you couldn't hold the, uh, the boost pressure and in the uh, in the long run it caused malfunction to get a new hose it costs about $62 ship from Lexus yes for a freaking hose this long hose right here so yes so in the meantime I'm just uh, temporarily gonna fix it right here that's why I did not want to mount it back to the original location while waiting for the parts to come back I mean to get uh, to come back the house but yeah so put it back here I, I decided to just mount it here so for easy replacement I'm gonna of course it's a redneck zip tie in the meantime I'm gonna clean out the boost sensor since it's uh, throw out the check engine light for the boost sensor I just clean it up plug it back in bolt these two together plug the connector to the alternator right there and this one is the yellow one you can see the yellow tip plug it back in there and that's, and that's it just plug everything back in mount it up clean it you know as you go there you have cleaner engine bay and that's about it guys I mean it's a uh, one of those things that you gotta replace again Lexus reliability right I guess it's not so reliable after all with all these uh, issues they're having typical uh, newer water vehicle with all bunch of elect electronic stuff so that's it like and subscribe thank you